defendant shall repay the amount of Namibian dollar 23 million 506,234 Namibian dollars to the plaintiff. Two, defendant shall pay interest at tempura morai at the rate of 20% per annum to the plaintiff calculated on the aforesaid amount as from 1 July 2016 to date of final payment. The defendant was further ordered to pay a 20% interest per annum calculated on $23,506,234, backdated 1st July 2016, in addition to legal costs. NTB entered into an agreement with a Jovis company on the 4th of December 2015 to provide a platinum tourism promotion package. The agreement stipulates that the so-called Platinum Tourism Promotion Package guaranteed 26 promotional television clips to be shown on each participating African country's public television station for two months prior to the ceremony. The terms of the agreement further stipulate that Ajovi and his company would return the money to NTB within 60 days in the event the awards do not take place in Namibia. NTB CEO testified that the contract was strictly handled by the Office of the Attorney General at the time, headed by Saki Shangala. Shangala was responsible for drafting the agreement between Mundial Telecom, NTB, and the Namibian government. Ajovi, who never showed up during trial, claimed in his statement that NTB made late payments which resulted in them not being able to comply with its obligation timelessly. The court, however, found that NTB's prayer for a refund was sound on a balance of probabilities. NTB welcomed the judgment, saying it will now hunt Ajovi through international instruments. It is for us to go back to the drawing board to, to discuss with the legal fraternity and laws in, law enforcement agencies how we could best utilize any other international legal instruments and avenues that are on our, our, in our disposal to try and recover that money out of Benin where Master Ajovi is residing. But I guess for his own personal persona, it will be a good thing that he would honor the judgment. Daniel Nadunyan, BC News, High Court, Vent Hook.